Hey there gamers, it's Low Budget Gamer here. Today we'll be testing Doom the Dark Ages as my first benchmark video. And I'll be testing with RTX 3050 laptop GPU. It only has 4 GB VRAM and I know it will be very hard to run the game. But I might have a surprise for you at the end where you we might be able to run it somewhat properly. Let's see, let's hope for the best. And with that, my CPU is 11 Gen i5 with 3.2 GHz of speed, clock speed. And my RAM is 32 GB at 3200 megatrends. Yeah, you can see it's only 22 GB available. As I have an iGPU also that takes 15 GB of, not 15, it takes 16 GB of shared memory. I don't know why it uses so much of memory because it doesn't even need it. I cannot change it, but yeah. Let's hope for the best. Let's try it. Let's try Do the Dark Ages. Hello there, guys. So uh, we are in the game. As you can see, it's just 9 FPS, 10 FPS. If you watch the sky, it's probably 11 FPS. <laughs> and below, 11 FPS. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll, show you the, I'll show you the settings quickly. We're playing in native 1080p. We cannot go beyond that anyway. <laughs> and we are not running any upscaler. It's just TAA for now. And with the reflexes on and resolution Texas pool size is 1536. And even then it's crossing my VRAM limit. And you can see all this other settings are just low. I'm running at low and I have, you cannot turn anything high in this game. Like for this GPU of course, because you can see the VRAM doesn't help. Even if there was good VRAM even then also probably you wouldn't be able to run this game at higher settings on low for this game. So as you can see it's just 8 FPS. We are playing slow motion gameplay. I feel like, I don't know, I feel so weird playing it. It pains my head. What is that? Why it is that? What is that and why it is that? Okay, okay, okay. I need to dodge. Okay. It's so hard playing this. Why? Why my buttons are not working properly? And it has to interrupt all the time. It has to interrupt. There's such huge you see, my god, the slow motion death. It's like a slow motion glory kill. But it, it, it makes it easier to aim. I feel like I'm an eSport player. Like, I guess that's how eSport players look at us. Noobs who cannot aim. Okay, is that I, I was so focused into killing him because the FPS is so low and I had to I have to press the button continuously I, or else you just don't hit the button like it doesn't even register. So as you can see 1080p native no upscale it's a no DLSS for now. DLSS, let's go performance because 1080p performance hopefully does something good for this GPU at least gives us double data all of the time. Okay, it gives us <laughs> it gives us double digit for sure, but like it's half of cinematic experience if I can say it's <laughs> I, I, I I can recommend you guys playing this the game in this. So what what do I need to do? If the cultist cultist what is cultist? Why am I saying cultist? Should I kill them? Okay, I need to kill them. Okay, they are traitors, so I need to kill them. As you can see, performance doesn't do anything. We'll probably go lower than that. We'll probably go ultra performance. Hopefully that, that helps, that helps us. 
Uh, it still doesn't help us. It's giving us same FPS. 11 FPS if you can if you can enjoy it but it, it, it went lower right just 12 FPS right now it became 11 why bottleneck maybe I feel like uh, it's a CPU bottleneck also and but the GPU, yeah, I'm recording right now, so the GPU utilization is full. But I feel like yeah, I hate this part. Why does the game keep on stopping all the time? Okay, okay, I don't. Right now, I don't care because it's of no use right now. Like the FPS is quite low, to be honest. Even in ultra performance. Okay, I changed the settings to 720p DLSS balance. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope we do get more FPS now. No, we're still getting 11 FPS, 12 FPS. It's quite low still. I don't think so. Balance is also gonna do anything for this. And it looks 720 is fine to be honest because the screen is only 15 inch, so it, the PPI is still not that low for a 720p. Although the DLSS makes it more blurry, the game does get blurry. Dang, Oblivion Gate! <laughs> I need to try. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Nice artifacting or glitch. <laughs> these glitches, man, these glitches. A damn about my GPU, it doesn't give me, it's not giving any damn about my feelings also right now. Let's go performance, hopefully that fixes something, gives us something back. Will it? No, like there's so much glitches, my god. What is this? My god, there are glitches, very bad glitches. Maybe the lighting is like... Due to the FPS, the lighting is bugged out, bugged out, and it keeps on having all these issues. Let's go there. Let's punch them in slow motion in 720p. Also, even if even now we are getting the same FPS. So in ultra performance 720p, you can see it runs at 19 FPS, nearly 20 FPS. It's quite okay, but not that okay. It does have some bugs and glitches with the graphics, I guess. The, the lightning, it has issues. So probably this bug set. Why do they jump scare me all the time? That's why it has all these graphical issues also out here. But I wouldn't recommend you playing it here, playing it like this, of course, because it's very it's a blurry mess. I won't lie to you. It's a very Bad blurry man. Even in 50, 15 FPS, you cannot like. Sorry, even even in 15 inch screen, it's very hard to play. Feels like it's AI drawn or something like that. If you feel me. So there is a solution for all the 4GB VRAM guys like us. We probably need to change the GPU soon. But we do have an ultra low setting. It's a Nexus mod mod. 
I'll give the link in the description and also in the comment. You can go check it out. All you need to do is you get this zip file. You gotta extract it, then copy, do dark ages content, base, and paste it. That's all you gotta do. And also, yeah, you have another step in the game. Okay, I'm back from copying the CSV file. Now I'll show you how you exactly do what. You have to just press the console key. The console will open. 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 Nice. Open. I'll just close. <laughs> I'll close this for a minute. You just have to write exact load dot CSV. And voila. Now you can see it's finally. I'll show you the FPS. I'll, okay, I forgot the benchmark. Now it's 60 FPS. 720p. 60 FPS gameplay if you want. That's the last you can go. That's the proper optimization for this game to be honest. And yeah, like after playing so... After playing like that for so long, like... I feel like it's okay to sacrifice some FPS when because when you actually see good FPS again, when you actually see 60 FPS again, you understand the value of 60 FPS to be honest. And right now I do understand the value of 60 FPS much more than anyone because after playing some 30 FPS, 10 FPS or something like that. This feels like a breath of fresh air to be honest although it's a bloody mess i can at least play somewhat i'll even try it i'll even try 1080p for you guys yeah remember you need to play it only in low that's the last thing you need to remember you don't play it on ultra or something like that or else you're just gonna be doing yourself a favor and turning your gpu into a mess I don't think so. It will help, and this will, this will help. Yeah, this one this will not help. <laughs> I thought so. This won't help. Yeah, you can also do the launch option again because that does work. Yeah, in 1080p it will not work because our GPU doesn't leave any headroom. It's 4 GB VRAM, so it's like the best setting you can do is in just run it on 720p go performance and just run the game and enjoy 30 fps is also fine 40 fps is nearly 40 fps i wouldn't recommend ultra performance 15 in 720p is fine to be honest i believe so yeah that's all Thank you guys, thank you for watching, hope you have a nice day, do check me out, do subscribe and I'll come up with lots more video like this with optimization guys while showing the FPS also. Thank you guys, good night.